All right, so right before the Super Bowl, somebody messaged me this picture and said that they wanted to make a t-shirt or something out of it for a party. Um, so first glance, it looks like it should be something you can just trace. Turns out it's actually not going to be that way, and it's going to use some techniques that will be helpful for you to, uh, to make your own project. So I'll show you how I ended up doing this. In Inkscape, first thing I always do is bring the picture in just for reference, if nothing else. So we're going to import it, and there it is. Now, if we try to trace it, we go to Path, Trace Bitmap. This is just black and white, so we just need gray. We don't want smooth, and we want remove background. It's going to be two colors there. Simple enough, right? I'll put this one over here. But now if we look a little closer at our picture, Whenever we try to trace text, unless it's a really high-res picture, this is kind of what happens. You lose all of the, the sharpness, um, you lose a lot of the details, your shapes are no longer the shapes that they were supposed to be. So the trace for me is not going to work here. So instead, I'm actually going to make this over again myself. Make it a little bigger. Um, so, first thing I see is the text. If I hold my shift uh, control button and scroll in it zooms in a little that to me looks a lot like varsity the lowercase letters of varsity except they're a little thicker so we're going to use varsity and we're going to make it a little bit thicker ourselves so first thing i'm going to do is get my text tool and type this text out all in lowercase because when you use uppercase with this font you get these little lines around all the letters and i don't want that so there's my text we're going to turn this into Varsity. And now it looks a lot like that, with a couple of exceptions. If you look close, you'll see the apostrophe and the exclamation point have that little white line that I was talking about, so we need to fix those. And the text is too thin. This is a little bit thicker, so we're going to make this thicker. So before I turn this into a path, if you can picture when I add thickness to these letters, they're going to get to where they look closer together. So they're all going to be touching. So the first thing I want to do, if I double click in here, I'm back to my cursor. This one right here is spacing between letters. I'm going to push these letters apart a little bit. I'm just holding down that arrow until I get it to kind of where I want it. So we're going to just separate them a little so we have room for them to get smushed together a little more. So now that I have that, I go back to selecting. So now I have the whole object, and I'm going to turn it into a path. So now each letter is its own path. So we get that out of the way. We're going to drag a box around this whole word. We're going to leave the exclamation point out because we need to do some work on that. Control K attaches them. Same thing with this word. Attach the whole thing, but if I hold my shift button, and click on the apostrophe, it deselects that. So now just the rest of it, all of those letters are selected. Control K, and I have that one all as one. Now this and this we gotta work on. So Control, scroll in. There's two different ways that I can do this. So I'm gonna do one one way and one the other way so you can see. <coughs> They're not, sometimes you'll have to use one or the other. They, there'll be cases where one works better than the other. But, so for the apostrophe, if I go to path, break apart, that breaks all the little nodes apart, which basically mushes them all together. But now we have to do path union to make it one cut object so that there's not 8 million nodes in there. So now if you see, it's just what you would expect to see. So that one is done. Probably have to make it a little bit smaller because... And when we took that outline into it too, it kind of made it a little bigger. So we shrunk that down a little. That's there. I now get a box around all that again. Control K. So now that's one solid object. Now the exclamation point. If you look close, if I go into my note editor, you'll see there's one little box, and then there's a little there's a bigger box around it. We want to delete the bigger box, so you can either just one at a time, there's eight nodes for the outer box. You see them, two, four, six, eight. I can delete those one at a time. <coughs> Don't 
worry about what it does in the middle of while you're doing it. At the end, it'll look like you want it to look. Or we can just drag a little box around the ones we want. Just be careful not to catch the ones you do want. And now we have that. But now, if you look, there's this big space in between. So I'm going to use my nodes to just sort of make this a little bit bigger. There. Now, if I go back to my selector tool, we have an exclamation point. <coughs> Zoom out a little. Put that there. Now, because we took that outer box off, this one I'm actually going to have to make a tiny bit bigger for it to be, for it to line up with those. Drag a box around those, control K to attach them, and now that's done. Now, we want to make them a little thicker so they kind of look like that. So here, <coughs> if I go to Path, Linked Offset. And what that does, if you zoom in here, see this little diamond? You're going to use that diamond, and you're going to drag it out just a touch. But you'll see it gets big really, really fast. So you got to be kind of gentle with this and just make it look... Sorry, that's my dog shaking in the background. <laughs> <laughs> like you want it to look. So that's good for me. Now if I go to the selector, the little one is still in there. I'm going to get rid of that and delete it. Now this word, path, linked offset, look for the diamond. It's always on the top somewhere, but for some reason it's not always in the same place. So we're going to take this one and drag it out a little bit. We want it to kind of match the first set of words. That looks pretty good. Selector, drag the little, the original one back off it and get rid of it. So now we have our letters. Just push them out of the way for now. We don't need them for a while. Those are done. Now the TV. So we're going to need a box. Select off of everything that you're on. Make sure that nothing has a box around it. Hit your box. I want this to be black. See, I could just draw a TV but I don't know if I'm going to get it the same aspect ratio as that. So actually what I'm going to do is delete that. Come over here. Zoom in a bit. Take my box. Start in the corner that this one is. Drag it out like I'm holding the, the button on my mouse and I'm dragging. So just drag it out to the same size. Go to the select tool so that you can move this box now. And bring it back to where we were. Zoom out. If I hold my control button, I can make this bigger without losing the aspect ratio. And there's our TV. Now we need this inner cutout box. So we're going to make another box. Select off of here. Make a box. Make this any other color, but you want it to be a contrast so you can see it. And make a smaller box. And I'm going to do mine about there. Now left to right, it doesn't really matter centering wise because there's obviously more space over here. But top to bottom, you want this to be like centered horizontally. So we have this box selected. Hold shift and select that box. So now if you see there's a little dotted line around both of them, they're both selected. We're going to go to object, align and distribute. And now here, this little picture is what I want to do. Center on the horizontal axis. If I click that. Now they're perfectly lined up. And they're also still both selected, if you notice. So while they're both selected, we go to Path, Difference. And that cuts one out of the other. So now, that's empty. Alright, so that's that part of the TV. It's a little bigger. Now we need to do this little knob. So we're going to take a little circle. Doesn't matter, again, what color. Hold the control button so that it stays round. It doesn't turn into an ellipse. <coughs> no. so I'm going to put this where it belongs. That might need to be a little bit bigger. Brody. There. So I have my little knob. Hold the shift button. Select the TV. And do difference. <coughs> and now that cuts that out. Now we need to do this little rock, this little frame here. And that is not a solid square, it's just the outside frame of it. And so we're basically going to do what we did with the TV, but smaller. Hey, come here. Sorry, my dogs are not cooperating right now. So I'm going to do another box. 
do it over here and then we'll put it where actually now make this a nice bright color so I'm gonna make it in here all right so I have my little box and I'm gonna do that link offset again so we go path linked offset and I want this to be a different color so that I can see how big the frame is that I'm making and you take that diamond and you drag it out well that's not the best color how about do that color all right so now I have my little frame there now selector tool now I have selected the outer one the orange one I need to hold my shift button and select the yellow one too and then we go to path difference and it cuts it out so now I have this orange box that's see-through however we want this whole box now cut out of the inner box so we're gonna put it kind of where we want it click on shift and the TV and again difference now we have one object and all of these things are just cut out of it so it looks kind of like that we want this football for the inside um, I just went and googled football clip art found myself a football so I'm gonna bring that in so we go file import and there's my football Of course it's ginormous if I hold the control button when I bring it in it doesn't get warped so we're going to trace this so we go path trace bitmap black and white so gray is fine we don't want smooth we want the remove background and again it's two colors just like the, the TV was in the beginning so that traces that now see there's our good one our traced one it's hollow you can't see through you can see through that white this one is a solid object. We don't want that. Get rid of that one. Make this smaller. Hold the control button. If I click on it once, I get the little rotate arrows. We're going to just make it look kind of like that one. And now that's kind of where it goes. I'm going to attach this. Hit shift, the TV, and control K so that that's all one object now. Now if I go to node editor, you'll see this is all one cut. If you upload this to design space, it's gonna, this is all gonna be one cut. You're not gonna have any layers. Okay, so now all that's really left is the antennas. So now, oops, get this out of the way a little bit. For my antennas, I'm just gonna use boxes long skinny boxes make them black all right so the first one is going to be kind of like that if i click on it once i get the rotate arrows just going to set that up kind of like that make another one this one's going to be a little smaller kind of like that click on it to get the arrows And we have that. Now, I have that selected. If I hold shift and select the TV and do union. So now here, if I do control K, I think what's gonna happen is that. You get this little cutout in there. You don't want that. If you have anything overlapped, whether it's text or images or shapes or anything, if it's overlapped and you wanna combine them into one path, do union, not attach. So I'm gonna undo this with control Z select this one select the TV and we're gonna do union which is control plus plus union hold shift select the other one control plus plus so now again we have one object still which is what we wanted however so if we put we could put commercials under here where it goes that's fine make that a little bigger and right and now the problem is going to be when we go to put this here you'll see that those cute little antennas run right through the middle of it which is not really what we want first i'm going to make this a little bit bigger okay so now what i have to do is actually kind of get rid of that part of the antennas behind it and this is the way i do it <laughs> my little shortcut click off of everything make yourself a box make it a different color you don't want it black you won't see it and make a box that's going to cover your text 
like that. Okay, now I have that. It's selected. I shift, I hold my TV object, and I do difference. And now if you see, it cut that box out of it, so now my text fits perfectly in there, just like that one. So that is my version of that. And it used quite a few different techniques that, like I said, I think in other things you're making, you should be able to put some of them to use. I'm gonna get rid of the original. This actually, the only other thing I should actually do in here is take this and attach it and then take this and attach it. So now it's all one cut. So you upload this to Design Space, it'll just be one nice little image, you stick it on your screen and you hit go. Can't get too much simpler. So we would save this as a plain SVG. And that is that. And hopefully that was helpful for you. I'm hoping that I cut down, other than my dogs being in the background, um, I turned off my computer fan, so hopefully you don't have that background noise. And I boosted my mic as much as I can, so hopefully that it's a little bit louder for you. But uh, let me know, and if you think of any other techniques or anything you'd like to see done, just shoot me an email, wendye524 at gmail.com. Thanks a lot.